The first word we are going to study is astrological. Astrological has five syllables. A-S-T-R-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. Accent on the third syllable, astrological. Astrological is an adjective. It means related to the study of the position of stars, the sun, and the planets, in the belief that they influence earthly events. Every day, Mona read her astrological forecast in the newspaper, and she was careful if her horoscope predicted trouble. Astrological. The next word, divination. Divination has four syllables, D-I-V-I-N-A, T-I-O-N, accent on the third syllable, divination. Divination is a noun. Divination means foretelling the future by finding patterns in physical objects. In Turkey, women offer divinations by reading the drags from a coffee cup. Divination. Next word, hunt. Hunt is a verb. It means to continually appear in the form of a ghost in the same place or to the same person. Some say the ghost of Princess Hilda haunts this castle, appearing as a headless form while she plays the piano. Hunt. The next one, horror. Horror has two syllables, H-O-R, R-O-R, and then Accent on the first syllable, and then the second R is cancelled, horror. Horror is a noun. It means strong fear mixed with disgust. On Halloween night, all the horror movies were rented out. Horror. The next word, intermediary. Intermediary or intermediary has six syllables, I-N-T-E-R-M-E-D-I-A-R-Y. Action of the third syllable, intermediary or intermediary. It's a, it's a noun. It means acting as an agent between people or things. The plaintiff lawyer suggested that they hire an intermediary to help them discuss their case. Intermediary comes from the Latin words meaning between the ways. Between the ways. The next word, invoke. Invoke has two syllables, I-N-V-O-K-E. Action of the second syllable, invoke. Invoke is a verb. It means to call on for support. In many religions, believers invoke their God by holding out their hands. Invoke. The next one, meditate. Meditate has three syllables, M-E-D-I-T-A-T-E, -E, actually in the first syllable, meditate. Meditate is a verb. It means to reflect to think quietly and deeply for a long time. Every morning, the monks meditated for three hours in complete silence. The next one, phantom, or you can say phantom. Phantom has two syllables, P-H-A-N-T-O-M, and actually the first syllable, phan, phantom, is a noun. Phantom means a dimly visible form, usually thought to be the spirit of a dead person, a sunken ship, etc. Many visitors reported seeing a phantom who appeared around the lake. Phantom or phantom originates in a word meaning dream, like a dream. A phantom leaves an unobserver wondering whether it's real or not. Phantom or Phantom. Next one, 
Psyche. Psyche has two syllables. P S Y C H I C. X and the first syllable. Psy. Psyche. Psyche is an adjective. It means relating to the sup supposed ability of the human mind to sense things that cannot be observed. The governor's assistant claimed to have unique psychic abilities, enabling him to read people's minds. The next one, self-perpetuating. Self-perpetuating has six syllables, S-E-L-F. P E R P E T U A T I N G self perpetuating X in the third syllable. Self perpetuating self perpetuating is an adjective. It means having the power to renew oneself for an indefinite period of time. It is difficult to escape from a lie as they are often self-perpetuating self-perpetuating now based based on the words you have studied choose the word or phrase that has the most similar meaning write the letter of your choice on the line number one divination demand prediction problem root the answer is b prediction Number two, hunt, dry out, fail to show up, continue to disturb, search desperately. The answer is going to be C, continue to disturb. Number three, meditate, clarify, expose, purge, or think. Answer is going to be D, think. Number four, invoke, call. Cry, inspire, reject. Answer is going to be A, call. Number five, psychic. Empty, mental, powerful, vague. Answer is going to be B, mental. Divination, prediction. Haunt, continue to disturb. Meditate, think, invoke, call. Psychic and mental. Now circle the word that best completes each sentence. Number one, the leaders of the religious group are said to have astrological psychic powers that allow them to move objects just by the power of their thoughts. It's going to be psychic. The leaders of the religious group are said to have psychic powers that allow them to move objects just by the power of their thoughts. Number two, four years after the earthquake, she was disturbed by, by the haunting memories of destruction. Number three, the boys told their new friend that they had seen phantoms in the cemetery at night. Number four, during the scuffle, the citizens were prepared to invoke the right of citizens arrest because no police officers were present. Number five, her divination of the result of their meeting impressed even the non-believers. Okay, let's read the sentences just one more time. The leaders of the religious group are said to have psychic powers that allow them to move objects just by the power of their thoughts. Number two, four years after the earthquake, she was disturbed by the haunting memories of destruction. Number three, the boys told their new friend that they had seen phantoms in the cemetery at night. Number four, during the scuffle, the citizens were prepared to invoke the right of citizens' arrest because no police officer, officers were present. The last one. Her divination of the results of their meeting impressed even the, the non-believers. 
Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another 10 words as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.